Hey guys, it's Panda. <clears throat> this is take two because I was waiting for... Oh god, I'm going to go on another rant if I start on that. I was waiting for my mom to text me because she was supposed to get me one thing at the store today when she went because I haven't had anything to eat and I have, haven't had milk or juice for a couple days. Um... And she couldn't wait until tomorrow to go to the store when I get paid so I could get some stuff. So I told her I, I want the one thing I really badly needed today. She said, okay, well, she texted me on, like five hours ago. Get ready and I'll text you when we're coming home so you can come out to the car and get it. Because uh, she was with her health care worker that go, goes to her house two or three times a week and basically they spend most of the time sitting around gossiping and smoking cigarettes but they're supposed to be she's supposed to be helping her clean and do get groceries I guess uh, but of course since I don't have a ride anywhere especially to Walmart because my grandma refuses to go there um, because she's literally has made it pretty clear that she's above Walmart like she thinks Walmart is for the scum of the earth or for poor people basically so she's never shopped there and she doesn't want to take me there so I don't have a ride there unless I take the bus um but my mom goes uh doesn't want to go tomorrow when I can go um and then so I've been waiting for like four hours I have got dressed I was ready to go out the door at any time that she texts me because this happens to me all the time like at least once or twice a week when I'm waiting for somebody to drop something off or pick me up and go somewhere or whatever and I usually spend hours and hours and hours waiting and then find out later oh she's not coming because she didn't want to literally drive across the road and drop it off before she went home because I live across the road from her so yeah again my mom would rather not spend 30 seconds dropping something off when it means that I could actually eat tonight because that doesn't matter to her of course um, that's like a normal occurrence with her every freaking week like that happens she doesn't want to she doesn't want to drop something off before she goes home so I have to either walk over there and get it or wait till I can get another ride and stop by there and get it or whatever it doesn't matter if I have very 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 few options to get anywhere um, so that pisses me off but yeah so I was waiting for her to text me I spent out uh, like two hours getting ready to record taking selfies waiting to start recording until after she retexted me and then literally two minutes after I started recording she texted me and said she wasn't gonna drop it off and I'll have to pick it up whenever I happen to go out again if I was gonna if she was gonna do that I get paid tomorrow I wouldn't have bothered having her get it for me because what's the point I get paid tomorrow I go get it myself after that whenever I can get a ride so it, like it just doesn't make sense to me but anyway she doesn't think about anything but oh I don't feel like spending 30 extra seconds right now even though I told her to be ready to come out and get it and that's too much effort for me so she doesn't even think ahead of that she doesn't think what I'm gonna do to get there or when I'm gonna get there to pick it up or anything so anyway on we move sorry about the rant that literally just happened and I really if I didn't rant on camera I'd be ranting to myself because I have to get it out somehow and it just pisses me off but anyway um, I got my hair I did my hair and I did, did like a facial and everything because I was gonna do my on-camera uh, vlog tonight hopefully I can work up the energy and courage to do it because I always something always comes up um, I've been having a really shitty time this month with my medicine um, besides getting further behind every month on everything on groceries on medicine on money on toiletries I basically am like a hundred dollars behind in, in the next couple days starting in February to get my medicine and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do unless I can sell something so um, I've got a crap ton of stuff listed on eBay under my mom's eBay account um, I can I, I think I already tweeted about it once but I can keep tweeting about it so if you guys want to if you're interested in anything like I've got high-end purses 
really nice uh, women's and juniors clothes. I've got some nice name brand shoes, hats, uh, probably jewelry at some point, and I've got a bunch of really super rare um, retired and misprinted Beanie Babies right now that are listed. Um, I noticed when I looked them up that they were going for three to four hundred all the way up to like two thousand um so i listed them way like at half that price for me because i need to sell them as quickly as possible um so if any of you guys are interested in that stuff uh check out my twitter and you guys can or or if i remember i'll try to link it below the the um ebay account so you can look it up but anyway um yeah, I'm going to be behind on my meds, and since I only get my medical cannabis dropped off once a month, it's going to be really hard because i got to try and pay for that all up front. Um, and then my stomach meds are going to be another 50 bucks, and I usually only get like half of that up front and then the other half later in the month. Um, so hopefully I can afford to do that, because if not, I have a lot of fucking health problems. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so I'm probably going to do a separate weed tube video at some point. I've got a list of um, my more important vlogs that I need to get done right here. Uh, I really need to enter setup wars. I've been, <laughs> I literally did my my setup uh, makeover like a year ago, and I meant to enter it at that point, but because um, I took a bunch of pictures and then I redid some of it and took more pictures and then I kept updating little bits of it. And at this point, I basically redid this whole side of my studio because I used to have my couch over here. Um, so I think I did more pictures and I'm probably just gonna send pictures of, the, of my computer desk over there. Um, from when I first did the setup because I had LEDs and my star lights were actually working because they burned out recently. So I'll probably send pictures of that side of the studio um, from back when I first redid it. And then I'll send pictures of this side from current because this is the way I wanted this side to look. I wanted it to be real steampunk. Steampunk-esque. It's really hard for my camera to get the to get the uh, <laughs> lighting working right here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and redo this also because I, I I I need to just not have Game of Thrones there anymore. And also my old cell phone you can't even see them. My old cell phone cases that I made um, steampunk style. I need to put somewhere else. But anyway, so. I plan on um, doing my on-camera introduction or reveal or whatever you want to call it. It's not really a reveal because I don't have my new teeth in yet. So it's more like a very, very hesitant, nervous, um, yeah, on-camera thing where I'm going to talk about my ordeal and everything that I went through with my dentist. And I really hate the way I sound without teeth because I keep, can't enunciate properly. And um, I sound like I have a lisp because of that, and it's really annoying. So I've been avoiding doing my audio journals because of the way I talk right now, <laughs> which is kind of dumb because it's the reason I started doing those is because I didn't want to be on camera. And now I'm probably going to be on camera before I even get into doing the audio journals, but I'm, I'm going to try and do those anyway because I really want to have that as a backup when I can't upload these videos. These videos take an obscenely long time to upload with my signal, so I'd rather do audio updates if I can without, you know, having all this time wasting going on. Um, I also have my big board right here, and I still plan on, right now I plan on having I was going to at some point just add a bunch of channels right here um, that I really like to watch because that's what it's for. That's what I was going to put over here is a list of all my favorite YouTubers because I had tried putting them on this little board but I couldn't even fit in half of them so I erased it and started over and as you can see at the top of the board here 
This is probably where I'm going to be focusing a lot of my videos when I'm not on camera. And it, it'll be during the day so you can actually see it. Because right now it's nighttime out. So um, if you guys could really consider um, signing up for my Patreon. I have still to this day not had one person sign up. I don't know why. I don't know if there's technical problems. Nobody's ever said anything. Um, but if you would consider signing up for just two dollars a month, I can. I'll put your name right here on the board. Whatever name you want, your username, your YouTube channel, whatever. Um, and thank you for it. And if you do five dollars a month, I'll do a verbal shout out on every vlog to all of my patrons who do that. And you'll get your name up here too. So. Um, it's like a little bit of promotion. If you want to promote your channel, it's pretty cheap. And it supports me and it helps me keep the lights on, literally. Or, you know, it might help keep me from going hungry. <laughs> that would be nice. Because I literally am starving right now and, like, have been for a few days. Um, it's not fun living on, like, tater tots and instant potatoes and cereal. Because that's basically all I had. Okay, um... So anyway, I'm just going to do a quick little once around. I don't even, I can't even think about what to say right now. Um, I have a lot to say, but I can't think of what, like it's too dark, you can't see anything right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I was going to sit over here and do my on-camera vlog. Um, probably set up a tripod here in front of it. And... Um, I took some selfies in front of this just a minute ago and have it on my Snapchat, which I'll post below if you want to follow me on there. I hardly ever post on there, but I do occasionally when I want to do a Snapchat, I'll post it on there. Just I haven't been on camera much lately is why, so. Um, and the usual, I haven't really changed a whole lot around over here. It's just cleared out for my... Um, for my on-camera vlog, basically, and I've got my computer desk set up over here. I'm really depressed that my lights burned out because I had those on every night, and I don't know where to, like, if I wanted to get more, they would be like 20 or 30 bucks, and I can't really afford that right now. And my LED lights that I had on behind my desk, literally, I only used them like four times and they just quit working so i had to take those out and i have this other set over here but i think it's really short so i'm not sure if it'll i might just end up putting it like over, under the window or something um or maybe around it or on top i don't know on top of it i don't know we'll figure something out but um yeah so i've been um as you can see I got my laptop covered in stickers now. It took me so long to do this that it made me question why I was, it was, it was like when it, like, you know, some people color, some people draw, um, have de-stressing activities like that, but I was like, I spent a long time cutting these out because they all had a white border. Unfortunately, the, the medical pandas were already on there, so I couldn't really cut the borders off of those. Otherwise, I would have because I really wanted it to look more s sleek and less like a bunch of stickers. But um, I had I had one of these Bernie uh, bumper sticker things that I got, and I cut one out and put it on my laptop because I wanted it to look more. I wanted to keep the purple because I really like the purple color of my laptop. And I got some of my Galaxy Print stickers on there. And TYT. And stuff like that. I got a couple of unicorns. So yeah, I, I thought it was a good way to personalize it. This is all I... I don't really use anything else but my laptop and my phone, so... Um... Hopefully I can start editing soon. I haven't been editing lately on my computer because the Windows Movie Maker decided to be an ass when I had to upgrade my Windows and they decided to put 
what used to be a free software with Windows, because Windows was already expensive enough, now they're charging you $40 just to take off the humongous watermark that they put on your video. So lately I've been pissed off and haven't been using that because I don't want to have a watermark on my video. Um, so hopefully soon I'll be able to find another editing software for that. These are all my old <laughs> Tokidoki calendars. I've got all of them since 2015. So I like to uh, I like to look at the I like to look at all the pictures in those, and I did have some of them hanging up. Um, I just thought I'd put them all in here like a coffee table book type of thing because they're cool. And I got my new one hanging up over here. I turned it on to February already. So, and I got my, I found my Bernie hoodie that I'm working on now. I got to get that done as soon as possible because the primaries are coming up pretty soon. Um, so I'm working on that. I'm going to be stitching this on the back, but I also have like metallic uh, colored threads like bronze and gold and stuff that I want to put designs around it and stuff so it looks cool. Um, and then I also have this patch, this Green Day patch I was going to put on it somewhere, probably on the arm or something. Um, by the way, I don't think I ever showed on my on my unboxing video that I also got this phone case right here for my regular phone. Um, while I was getting stuff on Amazon, I think it was only like 10 bucks. But I really, I was looking for one for my mom and I saw this design and I thought it was going to be, it looked on the, on the pictures like it was going to be a leather or a fake leather with like stitching around it. That's what I thought it was going to be, but it's just plastic. So I'm not really impressed with that, but I really like the design. I think it's cool. It says, uh, I'm not crazy. My reality is just different than yours. And I kind of feel more and more like that every day lately <laughs> because I feel like I'm in some kind of purgatory, <laughs> um, with every day that gets freaking worse. So it's kind of annoying. And I did put Lady Gaga in this picture frame because I liked the picture. I, th I thought it looked pretty steampunky. And I was getting a little tired of the gas mask one I had in there. I still gotta fix my headphones. I've been meaning to do that. I have a welding soldering iron thing to fix them with. Um, yeah, I just got done uploading my couch making slash hack video that I... Um, showed where where I showed how I make my couch and turn it into a nice looking day bed type of thing because it is like a hideous used Craigslist couch that I got um, so that's posted my last video I uploaded if you guys want to check that out um, how I turn this into how I turn an ugly couch into this I can tell you what though, this pillow that I got at Walgreens on sale is the most comfortable thing I've ever put my head on. Like I always use this for my head and it's super, super cushy and soft. Sorry if I keep jerking the camera. I have that problem. I have that problem, a nervous system problem where my arms and legs just kick or twitch sometimes by themselves. Um, so sometimes I jerk the tripod a little bit. And I, I know there was a crap ton of stuff I was supposed to talk about, and now I can't remember any of it. I just wanted to do a quick update, I guess, um, and let you guys know how, how I'm doing and what's going on. So I guess I can probably not make this a 45 minute video this time, and maybe I can upload it tonight. Um, I do get paid tomorrow, but that's all going into my medicine and my groceries and probably my rent. And I have to pay for my YouTube and my phone and ordering my OTC meds and my cough drops and everything on Amazon. I ran out of cough drops and I tell you what, when you have to smoke ground up weed, because I, I prefer to smoke it whole, like whole buds, because that not only does it taste way better, it works better, it doesn't give me a headache, it doesn't hit me too hard, um, and it also doesn't kill my throat and make me cough like it does when I grind it up. 
because when I grind it up, I, um, it gives it hits me too hard. I get a headache, and I usually have a really sore throat, and I'm coughing for like two hours or more after that, and I have to like eat cough drops the whole time, and just it's not worth it. But I usually end up having to get like a, a bulk supply of cough drops every month because of that. So I usually get the sugar-free breeze. Uh, strawberries and cream breezers the ones that are white and red not the ones that are all red um, because they're not quite as strong and menthol -y as the other ones um, so i order those as much as i can on amazon they're pretty cheap you can get like six of them for 20 or 24 dollars or something six of the bags so that's usually what i do and i also order my stomach medicine and i also have to get like um, another candle, another smoke odor candle, because mine's gone, and I don't have any candles really. This one I have burning right now is pretty much gone, um, and I need those to burn when I smoke, because otherwise I would probably get in trouble for the smell. Um, so there's a couple things on Amazon that I really, really, really badly need every month, so if you guys are interested in helping out that way like you can order something on Amazon and just have it shipped to my address if you want and that'll help that'll be a massive help if you don't want to like donate money or if you're just looking for a different way to help out that would be a massive help and I'll leave a, a link to my Amazon list in the description um, at the top of my Twitter I have a pinned post that shows all my fundraising options um, and if I ever needed help with that, now would be the time. <laughs> because honestly, I'm just getting, until something gives that allows me to make money myself, which I already, you know, made it clear what I need for that. If my family's not going to help me out with that or help me move to where I don't have to spend, uh, you know, $350 or more on my meds every month, then it's just going to keep getting worse because I'm just going to keep getting further behind every month. Um, unless I manage to sell like $500 worth of stuff on eBay, a couple of Beanie Babies or whatever, then I could pay off my meds. I could get all the cough drops I need. I could order extra stomach meds and stuff on Amazon. And then I wouldn't have to worry about it for a while. But, um, yeah, because next month I'm going to need to get more CBD for my cat, which is 35 bucks, And then I'm going to need to get another pen cartridge for my vape pen. It's like every other month I have to order this extra stuff that costs another 80 bucks altogether or whatever, 90 bucks. So it's just, it's a burden that never lets up and it just keeps getting worse and nothing is giving no matter what I do. Like I've literally been working, I've been up all night every night trying to sell stuff on eBay, trying to fundraise, trying to figure out ways to make money on, you know, online or whatever. And just, I've tried all the survey apps, I've tried all the, you know, scam apps that tell you you can make money and usually you can't. Because <laughs> I've tried like a dozen of those and wasted a lot of time and gave a lot of people my information for no reason. So I'm kind of hesitant to waste any more time with those. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm more than confident that I would be extremely successful at selling my edibles and whatever if I had a way to deliver them or a way to ship them or whatever it is to you know be able to do that would make me a lot of money and I just don't know how else to do anything because I'm good at that and I'm not good at much right now I certainly can't get a job that's you know a set time or a set day um, I, I don't know what time I'm going to be able to function or there's days I can't function at all. So having a regular job is kind of not an option. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to do, I guess. Um, I did record a vlog a few days ago that was long and rambling and I cried a lot. Um, I ended up deleting it because in that vlog I was discussing sensitive topics and basically I was fed up with everything and not in a good mindset and I've noticed in this day and age if you people are are always saying um, 
if you have if you have something that is weighing on your mind or if you're having suicidal thoughts or if you're super depressed and you think there's no nothing you you're, you're just helpless then talk to people tell somebody you know get it out of your system etc and then i hear uh, on the other side I'm, i hear like oh if somebody's talking about suicide you got to call them call this number and turn them in or make sure twitter hears or youtube hears and they'll and they'll do something about it or whatever like you know make sure you tell somebody so they don't actually kill themselves or it's just like or you shame them for having whatever mental problem they have it's like make up your mind can can i talk about it can i not talk about it if i talk about it am i gonna get in trouble am i gonna lose all the subscribers i have you know, I can't be too honest with my emotions because obviously everybody's going to think I'm just a needy, emotional wreck or whatever. And I just don't know what to do anymore. Just like, you know, the whole time I've had my channel, I was trying to be 100% real because I thought that's what everybody wanted. But then the only people who are successful are people who are putting on a front or playing a character or not being real <laughs> at all. <laughs> like... I've been seeing a lot of people lately on YouTube that are just gaining subscribers the more they lie and the more they manipulate and the more they pretend and, you know, they get more and more subscribers and if they're real, they lose subscribers. So I'm like, what, what, what the fuck, you know? Like, I've never been fake anyway, but I'm, I'm too afraid to talk about some things or reveal some things because, like, being on camera, for instance, because it's like, how, how am I going to be real if that's going to lose me subscribers or alienate my audience or whatever, you know? Like, I hate to say my audience. Like, I have an audience. Um, <laughs> I don't have an audience. I guess viewers would make more sense because I only have a handful. But um, if anybody has any questions or, or recommendations for topics or, you know, suggestions for my setup or anything, let me know. Um, as far as like update upgrading hardware that's not really an option if i have to pay for it because i can't right now um, i could really use an editing program for my computer it's a windows 10 so if anybody knows of a free editing program i could use without a giant watermark that would be awesome uh other than that um I'll leave my Patreon, my Twitter, my eBay, everything in the description if you could please check it out. Um, if you don't want to, you know, buy anything, at least retweet it or share it or whatever if you could. Um, and if you really, uh, if you have a, a following on Twitter, it would be a massive help to me if you could just retweet the pinned tweet on the top of, on my profile so I could get some eyeballs on that. Um, I could really, 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 really use some help right now on that. If you guys could go do that, that would be awesome. I would really appreciate that. Um, if you want to join Patreon, I will totally shout you out next video and I will totally put your name on the board and I will like, you know, send you stuff if you want me to because I love doing that. <laughs> um, yeah, so just let me know what you guys think and what you guys want to see. Um, I'll I'm planning on doing my my on-camera video, my Bernie 2020 video, and there was another one I can't remember right now besides my dental video, um, my, my deconversion story. I plan on doing those pretty soon, so keep an eye out for those, and I really appreciate you guys sticking with me and watching this long. Um, Leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, because I'm trying to get to 500 subs again. That's been like a 16, 18 month goal for me lately um, to get to 500 subs. I've been trying to do that since before my last birthday, before last Christmas. So, um, yeah, subscribe if you can. That would really help. And don't forget it, to turn on the bell, even though I, I don't think you really need to worry about that. I, I only upload a couple times a month. But, yeah, if you want to leave a comment, that would give me a lot of motivation to keep recording, um, knowing that people are actually watching and, and care and interacting and whatever. Um, so, sorry to blab your ear off. I promise to start making better <laughs> content, as, if I can. Um, 
and I hope you all are, are staying warm and not too sad and not too stressed out. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.